Uh, how about a friendship symbol? Because why not? Ehu. You've learned the word for ehu. Okay, but what does ehu itself mean? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue our adventure here uh, in space. So uh, this is the first time that I've been back in the game for about three weeks. All of the uh, episodes that you guys have seen up to this point were pre-recorded uh, before I left on my trip. Uh, so I need to kind of get my head back in the game here. And um, so I believe the last thing that I did off camera after I left you guys in the last episode uh, was I went around and gathered up salvage data. So I got 18 uh, salvage data. But um, what I want to do though, one of the first uh, or next things I want to do as soon as I can, as soon as it's feasible to do, is I want to actually go up to the anomaly and get a, uh, a landing pad. Um, because it's a real pain in the neck for me to, to land the ship in this area. I can't I can't land it on top of the, the roof there. I tried that and it uh, it didn't like that. Uh, so we need to get a landing pad going. So that is one of our higher priorities. Um, so let's see. I did build a storage. I don't remember if I had done that uh, in the last episode. Uh, so we got a storage going. I've got a save point thing in Madoodle here. And I think I think that's it. I might have done some. I might have done a little bit of work out here too. I basically cleared all the way around the base so that we have a, you know, kind of like a little porch uh, here. So I did that. And then, yeah, I just went out and gathered up a whole bunch of salvage uh, to, you know, so that we can uh, spend that on up upgrading more building pieces. Now, what's in my mind um, at, you know, right now is I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time here. I want to, you know, I want to build, make this our first base, and I want to put the stuff in the base that we need to, you know, enjoy the game. But I really want to get out and explore, and I, and I want to really start moving towards the center of the galaxy, which is something I've never done in this game. You know, I, I get so caught up in the sandboxing of it, <laughs> you know, that I never, you know, really made it to the, to the center. So I, I want to make sure we don't lose sight of that uh, overriding goal, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, you know, that being said, we will, we will build up our base and, uh, you know, get it to, you know, where we need it. But I, I just don't want to spend, you know, 20 episodes here before we, we continue on with the storyline. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's hop in our ship. Well, actually, uh, whoops, I just went off the edge there. Uh, rather than hopping in our ship, let's actually just use this. So that way we save some, some fuel. And we'll hop up into space and we'll pull up the anomaly. I want to see what I need to, to get a landing pad. And then a little bit later on, what we'll do is we'll we'll work on unlocking some more base pieces with this salvage data. Maybe even go out and get some more salvage data too. All right, so let's go up to the space station. We are on... Yeah, that's the, the space station in our current system. So warp to here. Okay, and I'm assuming, oh, you know what, I don't think we did, have I gone back here already to loot stuff? Yeah, I, I think I did, I'm not seeing anything back here anyway. Um, you know what I don't think I did though, is I don't think that I did the suit upgrade in this space station, uh, which is across the way here. Uh, incidentally, we have 2.2 million uh, units, and we have almost 4,000 nanites, so that's where we're sitting in terms of our our finances here. Yeah. All right, so let's go over here. I know this gets, each time we do it, the cost, I think, doubles on it, something like that. Um, so 35,000 units, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I need to remember to do this every time we come to a new station. Um, okay, so don't think we want to do anything else here for now. I'm pretty sure I checked this weapon, but let's look at it again just to make sure because I don't remember. Yeah, that's just a Class C weapon. It's kind of cool looking though. 
Um, we have a, what are we, I think we're sporting a class C2, aren't we? Yeah. So this is 22 slots. My goodness, it's 4.4 million though. It's still twice as much money as what we currently have. What? Not a ton more damage potential and not a ton more scanner range. So the only real advantage to this, of course, is that it would give us more slots, but it's still out, outside of our price range at the moment, no matter what. Okay. And it's classy, so it's kind of cool looking though. All right, let's, um, I kind of like that ship. It's a cool looking ship. Let's talk to this guy. I'm just curious what the ship is and how much it costs. Um, make an offer on the life forms starship. Oh, it's only a class C, huh? Compare starship inventories. Well, it's um it's a hauler. Yeah, look at this the trading price on this ship. 23.4 million. One of you guys were telling me in the comments you, you, you thought the ship was kind of ugly and wanted to know why I got it. And my response was because look how much money this sucker is worth. <laughs> we found this thing for free, you guys. Well, when I say free, we did have to repair it. And that took a little bit of doing. But look how much money we, you know, if we if we sold this right now or, you know, exchanged it for something cool. Um, yeah. But this ship is definitely not better than ours, even though it's very cool looking. But ours is better pretty much in every way. Uh, yeah, ours is better in every way. So, anyways, it just gives us, you know, something that we can trade in or at least, you know, put a down payment on later on. So, very cool. There's a lot of cargo in that ship, though. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, this is one of the, this is a fighter. This, I'm not really technically in the market for a ship, but let's just look anyways because it's kind of fun, you know. It's kind of fun, man. Okay, this is a class B. Um, more damage potential, less shield strength, less hyperdrive range, quite a bit more maneuverable. He doesn't really have anything fancy schmancy on here in terms of equipment. Thirty-six. And 30 tech cargo. It's got a decent amount of storage space though for, for a fighter class ship. Um hmm. Nah. I don't think so. I think I think we'll wait. I do like the look of that ship though. It is a very cool looking ship. Oh that thing's weird. I think that's a science vessel ship. Okay. Well, yeah, let's let's get moving here. We're getting sidetracked. Incidentally, um, just so you guys know, I am still... Uh, I still have a lot of in real life uh, work stuff going on. Um, so I, I have limited time to record videos for... Uh, well, for the rest of this week. And I'll have a, about a week, week and a half, two weeks of back to normal schedule. And then I have to leave town again for work um, for a whole nother week. So... I'm just, you know, kind of at a point right now where I don't have a lot of the, the normal schedule where I can pump out a lot of videos. So we'll still be working on the videos. We'll still be, be doing the seven days undead legacy. We'll be doing this. We'll be working on Icarus. At some point, I do plan on getting back into farming simulator. If any of you also watch my farming simulator series, it's just the thing about farming simulator where I'm at with it right now is I'm in the end game. I got this huge farm. And it just takes so long, you know, to work the farm. So that's a big reason why, um, I just haven't been doing much of it lately, but I'm not, you know, I, I do plan on continuing it um, at some point. I'm just not exactly sure when. So, anyway, enough of that. Let's, um, uh, there's the space anomaly right now. Well, let's just call it to us. There we go. Now, I don't know how much this landing platform is going to cost. I don't remember, so we're going to check it out, and then, you know, if we can do it, we can do it. If we can't, then we'll have to wait until we can. That's a nice-looking starship. Me likey. We'll begin something like that at some point. 
Yes, indeed we will. Okay, so let's head on over here. I think we might actually have a... Do we have a quest to talk to, um... What's his face? Bring news of Artemis to Nada. Okay, so we do actually have a quest here. Uh, so we might as well talk to them too. Uh, but first, before we get sidetracked with that, let's do the main thing we came here to do, and that's see how much it's going to cost us for a landing platform. And let's see. Is, are you the one we talked to? No, you're the you're the weapons dude. I think it's here, right? Synthesis Laboratory. Oh, we should probably buy ourselves an Atlas Pass too. Um. Why don't we? We got lots of nanites. Well, that'll allow us to open up a little bit better uh, loot when we're out and about. Oh, by the way, you guys did tell me in the comments that I should be looting those. Um, what does this cost? Cadmium. Yeah. Uh, I should be looting those green chests with the rusted metal in it because I also you can also get nanites and electronics and other things too so thank you for reminding me of that I will start looting them uh, moving forward okay so you're an exocraft dude uh, alright where do we go to get the building stuff it's a little bit laggy in here oh here we go right here okay alright so what does this cost okay this does cost salvage data so what I want though small prefabs Landing pad. This right here. Okay. Research blueprint. Nice. Okay, that should all be pretty easy for us to, to come up with. Uh, now, what else? What is this? This is an alternative landing pad. What's alternative about it? Just the way that it looks? I don't know. Short range teleporter. Well, that's kind of neat. Low power teleporter construction for instantaneous travel across short distances. What are they? What do they mean by short distance, though? When wired to both the power source and another, there is travel between nearby locations. Huh, okay. I'm going to assume that means maybe across the surface of a planet as opposed to space, maybe? Some of this, a lot of this stuff is new to me. Okay, what's this? Message module. Small accessible information container for leaving messages or viewing left messages and short strings. Is that that's probably a multiplayer thing? I'm guessing. A light box. Oh, I like that idea. It's really dark in our base. Let's let's grab that. A light floor. A noise box. Special construction module designed to emit a high frequency noise. Pitch may be adjusted to the user's requirements. That, that's that's kind of like the. Uh, doesn't Minecraft have a thing where you can find records in dungeons and play music or something like that? A highly specific fabrication device developed with the intention of finding the universe's most perfect sphere. Sphere creator. Okay. Why do I care about that? This is this is all just funzy funzy stuff, right? Okay. Oh, you know what? We do need to get a medium refiner. Actually, let's spin some. Oh no, we're gonna have to go get some more salvage modules. Okay. I, I'm obviously going to have to do a lot more salvage module grinding because we definitely want to get the the medium then the large thing. This is new nutrient processor portable. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that isn't new. I'm not. Did they have this during the Beyond update? I don't remember it, but that doesn't mean we didn't have it. This is an automated feeder. Okay, that's when we have critters. Yeah, they might have had that stuff. I just don't remember for sure. Um, short range teleporter, teleport cable. That's probably if you, I'm guessing if you have like a, had like a really big base, um, you can set up teleporters just around your base. That's probably what that is. Autonomous mining unit, not an automated harvester for the mining of resources. Once activated, the AMU extracts minerals without the need for supervision, providing regular yield until the site is exhausted. Huh. Okay. Hazard protection charging system. Yeah, that's all stuff we'll, we'll want to get. Atmosphere harvester. So that's for harvesting gas. Okay, cool. So many cool things, man. 
Um, what is this? This is transport module. What does this do? A Romer Geo Bay, an underground secure parking facility for the Romer Medium Exocraft. Okay, so that's all, yeah, that's all Exocraft stuff. Aquatic construction. You know, it, it might be cool to do an underwater base at some point. Posters, decorative modules, all fun stuff that we can look at later on. Desk chairs, flags. Spark plug. A spare fuel ignition device compatible with the Galactic Standard. Hmm, I wonder what that's supposed to do. Illumination. There's some more lights. We bought that light box thingy, though. Okay, this is more practical stuff. Mineral extractor. Determines a, uh, no, determine a site with surveying upgrade for the mineral extraction rate. Produce minerals. So that must be different than the automated miner thingamadoodle. Okay, here's, yeah, here's like the food growing stuff. And then we're back to the wall. Some of this stuff I can research down on the base, too. Um, okay. Well, anyway, we accomplished our main objective. That was to get the a landing pad. And we got a light box, too. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go... Man, why is the game so laggy? It's, like, terribly laggy all of a sudden. I don't know why. Hold on a sec. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, is the anomaly often have performance issues? I don't remember it being this bad last time I was here, though. Good. Gravy, what's going on? Here, I'm gonna reboot, I'm gonna restart the game. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I didn't, I, I was getting ready to restart, and then all of a sudden everything freed up, and now it's good again. So, don't know. Really weird. Uh, okay, Priest Entity Nada. Nada saw a signal, traveler friend. Did you connect with Artemis Entity? Tell Nada about Artemis. Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have. It seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. Uh, it's good to help this entity, traveler friend, but Nada advises caution. Who is Artemis? Artemis Entity was, is a traveler entity, one like you. Nada had made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis Entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis Entity to be. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is starting to get weird. Uh, or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules and they would punish us. Continue to help Artemis. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and atlas stations. Travelers Helios and Ares supply nanites. Oh, right. Okay. That's just... That's just telling me stuff. Okay, do we need to talk this dude for any reason? If not a friend guides lost anomalies to our home, makes them safe from the Crimson Hunter, Nana is a great friend indeed. Um, ask for black hole coordinates. I think we go through black holes. I mean, it just makes, it gets us closer to the universe, right? So yeah, let's ask for a black hole coordinate. Why not? Pull a smile and send the location of a black hole to my starship's navigation computer. So wait. Okay, let's get back home, and, um, how do we get out of here? I think I go this way, right? No. This way? Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, see, now it's getting all framey again. What the heck, man? Why is that happening? If we talk to this dude, do we get more nanites or something? Let's talk to him. Yeah, young one, boundaries of time. Perhaps you might help another share things. You hard ache or you need data. Give data, Flora. From some of the stuff I've scanned down on our planet there. All right, what do we get? Oh, nice, 320 nanites. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Let's go talk to this individual. Travel hopes to make progress. Travel to test myself. I will help in exchange or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials, both valid today. Gold nuggets. Transport, uh, transmit milestone data. 
You have seen much, but do you understand not for me to know? Please take this. What did we get? Oh my goodness, 700 nanites. Very nice. Very nanites. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, um... Alright, I'm done here. I don't want to spend any more time in this completely framey, laggy place. Oh, look at that dude. Weird, man. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the base and make our landing pad. Hopefully we have everything we need to do that. Oh, that's not my starship. Where's my starship? Oh, it's over here. Can't do the little jump trick in, in the anomaly. At some point, I need to get the the helper dudes too um, that we can find in the stations here. this do again? Starship outfitting. Purchase improvements or salvage ships. Alright, this is where I can sell it. Or I can upgrade it to a new class. What does that involve? Just out of curiosity. Fifty thousand nanites? Oh my word. Augmentation. Okay, yeah, no, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> no siree. Not gonna happen, man. Are you one of the dudes that will come down and help us? Pure Entity Voyetta? Voyetta? Corvax something or other. Da -da -do -da -do. Looks at me. Biological frame. Something approaching. Pity. Sure. Teach us a new word, man. Or it. Uh, how about a friendship symbol? Because why not? Ehu. You've learned the word for ehu. Okay, but what does ehu itself mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, here, let's grab these. Nav data. Okay. Um, I think we're good to go home. So, let's go home. Okay, we are back to the base. So let's see here. I want to. Um, let's go into. What is this? Construction unit research thingy. Okay. Buildable technology. Oh, wait a minute. Well, oh, yeah, let's look at this for a second. Health station hazard protection unit. We know all the rest of this stuff. That's all just wooden stuff there. This is stone. An alloy. Okay, well, let's hold off on those. Um, where's this light box thingy that I can make? Right here. Just takes five sodium, huh? Okay. Let's grab some sodium. Oh, can I just... As long as I'm in range of this, can I just use it? Or do I have to... Um, no, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. Hey, wait, okay. So, if we put it up on the ceiling as a light... It looks like it's clipping through the ceiling, though. All right, let's just set it here for a minute. Oh, okay, so it doesn't pull out of the storage. I have to actually get into the storage to get the sodium out. 
Fair enough. Um, wait, do I not have any sodium in here? I got sodium nitrate. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? It looks like it has to sit on the floor. How interesting. Okay. Let's just put it right here for now. Because we can. Oops. Now, what do I do with it? Do I just... Oh, you have to hook power up to it. Ew. I see. Okay. How do I... Here, get into the build menu. I'm still trying to remember how to do all this stuff. Edit. Placed parts. C. Target. Part. Light box. Move. Move. Okay. Uh, we have a little power thingy over here. Um, Alright, what if we... Put it right here. Okay. Now, let's go to... Here. Grab the wiring thing. And can we just hook it there to there? That's it? Oh, that doesn't give up much light at all. Alright, I'm I'm thinking maybe this is more for decoration and it's definitely not for illumination. Um, but we do have the ability to make a, a light. Well, you know what? Let, here, let's quit screwing around with that right now. Uh, I want to get this launch pad built first. Uh, speaking of which, where is our ship at? Where did the game put our ship? Okay, it's over there. Alright. So, to make the launch pad, which is here, we need tin metal plating and two microprocessors. Okay. What's that? So we have two microprocessors here, so let's grab those. And then uh, we have quite a bit of ferrite dust here. I don't know, is that enough to make tin metal plating? Guess we're gonna find out. Nope. Only, can only make three. Okay, so we are gonna need to. We need 50 ferrite dust per plating. We need to make seven more. Um, so basically, we need another 350 ferrite dust. And I don't have any more in here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do then is we're going to go out and about. And we're going we're gonna to continue looking for more salvage data. And mine up a whole bunch of ferrite as well. I have, um, I have searched around, you know, fairly close to the base quite a bit now. There's the silver deposit, humming sack, space, space wheat, cargo drop. Parathenium deposit. Silver all over. Buried mineral formation. Yeah, there isn't really anything super close by because I've already gone after it. Um, alright, let's get in here. What do I have for launch fuel? I got three launch fuels and some uranium. Uh what do we need for launch fuel? We need dihydrogen and metal platings. Okay. Well, I can I can gather both of those things out in the wild. So um, let's take off. And what we're gonna do is, how about if we go in this direction? 
get a little ways out from the base and then we'll start looking for more salvage data and mining um, a bunch of ferrite. Okay, let's maybe search around in this valley here. Oh wait, have I already been here? Looks like that knowledge stone has been activated. I don't think that stone there would be... Oh, no, it's not lit up. It looked like it was lit up. I don't know, man. Okay, so yeah, let's just land... Right here is as good a place as any, I suppose. Crash. Okay. And we're going to start going after salvage data. We'll need a tag. That one's 182 units, 351, 155. Okay, yeah, let's go after this one here. We're gonna need some die high. Scanned you? Uh, yes, we've scanned you. Okay. Uh, we do have more things to scan on this planet, too. Wow, look at all that sodium over there. That's nice. Uh, but I haven't really found anything in the immediate vicinity that we haven't already scanned. Um, so we'll just keep looking for that stuff as we go along. Wow, there's a nice big dihydrogen crystal thingy over here. Okay, where is our buried thingy? It's right over here. And, um, I don't want to change modes on this. Oh, yeah, G. Okay, so we want this. There it is, right there. Two salvage data? Yep. Very cool. Uh, that's pure ferrite. Well, I just want, for now, I just want ferrite, ferrite. Ferrite and sodium. That's pure ferrite and carbon. We've scanned you, right, dude? Okay. All right, let's mark the next uh, closest salvage data. Uh, that one's not too far away. We'll hit that one. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick all this sodium too because why not, right? It's a nice little bunch of sodium right there. I discovered too that you don't have to necessarily walk up to each plant you just kind of get them among them and then hold the E down and your guy will just start picking them Ooh, look at that cave that's a ways down in there huh okay well that's a that's a uh, an adventure for another time this to this mode and uh, what was the T yeah R and T we use the big one so we can get to it quickly okay some more salvage data there where's the next closest one Oh, 
college stones over that direction. That one is 338 units off. And that one is 212. Let's go to that one next. What's next? Three thirty-four off for there. What's that star thingy? Ancient data structure. Let's go look at that. I don't know what that is. Oh, these thingamadoodles. Okay. Navigation data? Okay. Let's take these. Um, we need to recharge this. I went and got a bunch of dioxide at one point for the um, for the life support because uh, it takes way less uh, to charge it than it does with oxygen, and then I can save my oxygen for other things. Okay. Keep looking here. Oh, yeah, there's one um, off this way. Right there. I know I need to farm up a bunch of ferrite, but I'll, I'll do that off camera. In fact, speaking of off camera, we're probably... Getting close to needing to wrap up this episode here. Let's grab this carbon. But I'd like to get the I'd like to get the landing platform made before we end the episode, because that was kind of like our main goal, so. Grab some of this. That's pure ferrite. Oh look at that. That's a big sodium nitride crystal. Nice. We'll take it. We will take it. Here's a, a knowledge stone. Let's learn a new word. Corvax word for you. All right, cool. Let's go over this little glade over here. Is there anything we haven't scanned? Probably scanned all that stuff. Sometimes. It's these little plants on the ground that you miss, or little minerals hidden in the grass. But yeah, it looks like we've already gotten all that. Uh, let's grab this. Nice little condensed carbon thingy. If, if I, can I put pure ferrite in the thingamadoodle, the refiner, and turn it back into normal ferrite, but like get a two to one ratio, or one to two ratio or something? I don't remember. I could just mine the pure pair, right? I'll have to try that uh, when I get back to the base because I just don't remember. All right, cool. There's one there. That one's 205 that way. That one. 338 that direction. That one's 318 that direction. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to start working my way back towards the ship and continue doing salvage, but I'm also going to take a few moments. Did we scan you? Yeah, take a few moments and get some ferrite so we can make those plates. So I'll see you back at the base once we have all the stuff we need to get that done. All right, guys, we are back at the base, and we should have everything we need to make our landing pad here. So let's head on back in here. So 
So we needed the microprocessors and uh, the tin plates. Put a couple other things back in here. Uh, we have 18 more of those that we can use to unlock some more stuff. Chromatic metal, gold. Um, I want to... No, if we put condensed ferrite in here, we get magnetite, right? Yeah, that's right. So we can't break it back down to normal ferrite. Okay, um, all right, what do we need for this again? Uh, we have everything. Okay, cool. Let's head on outside here. And I think what we'll do is we'll put the launch pad. Um, I guess we could just put it out this way. And make sure we're in the center here. And change camera mode. That's more that's more better. Mo better. And we're just gonna build it like that. Okay, cool. So yeah, you know, I know this is a little weird here, but um, I'm just not gonna worry about it for now. Okay, so let's go grab our ship and use our launch pad. You guys were telling me in the comments too, you know, you know, because I was having some trouble hitting the launch pad before. Um, you were saying all I have to do is wait for the the rings to turn green, and then hit E, and then it'll just auto dock. So I wasn't really doing that. So let's try it this time. a lot further out than I thought I was going to. Okay, so you said look at it, and when it turns green... Oh, yeah, okay. Nice. That makes things a lot easier. <laughs> I was totally doing that the hard way. Excellent. Now we have ourselves a landing pad. We can take off without expending fuel and have a, a good place to park our ship. I like it. All right, you guys. Well, um, what I'm going to do is, well, at, before I let you go, actually, here, let's go back to here for a minute. Uh, let's go to buildable technology. Um, we might as well learn the health station and the hazard protection unit. Not that we need it on this planet, but we'll learn it anyways. Okay, and then... This is more timber stuff. That's a half ramp. Yeah, I'm not. I guess, oh, you know what? I do think I want some windows. So that's a door. A timber arch. That's kind of cool. Uh, here's the window here. But I have to learn the rectangular door first. Okay. And now we can learn the... Uh, the window. Wait a minute, where did it go? Wind timber, timber door, do, 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 timber arch. Oh, that's a twin timber window. Okay. This is a frontage. That's kind of cool looking. Those are corner pieces, short timber walls small timber wall. Timber wall. Oh, thin timber wall. Okay. So I guess we have to learn the thin one first before we can learn the short one. Timber power door. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's like a garage door or something, huh? Um... One thing, one thing I have to do, though, is I have to... I want to learn these because my roof is just a little too low and so like our storage our storage bin thingamadoodle is you know poking out through the top of the roof so I want to add some more of these smaller windows to get our roof up a little higher and let's see we have four salvage data left uh, 
I kind of like the idea of this power door, so let's check that out. And then maybe we'll do... What is this? Oh, we don't have enough salvage. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Not all these new blueprints. Um, I was going to look at a light. Where do I make the light? Right here. A cap standing light. We just need sodium. Um, let's just put this right in the middle for now. Oh, it's going to need wiring though too, isn't it? Okay, we'll put it over here. I don't know how much light this thing gives off. So let's go to here. Um, did I connect it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, that doesn't... <laughs> that doesn't give out much light. That's lame. That's just as bad as the... De the... the... uh... What's it, what's it? The light box. Hmm. Okay. Well, alright. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. I'm sure there's got to be better light options. Um you know, as we continue looking at the technology tree. But guys, I'm gonna let you go here. And I'm gonna just, you know, probably keep farming up more salvage data so we can keep unlocking stuff. I'm gonna raise the roof up here by putting one of those little half walls in place just so, you know, this we don't have this business where the storage thingy is clipping through the roof. And then, um, not sure exactly what we'll do in the next episode, but we will figure it out. So, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.